Hello guys! Welcome to my channel Beauty Blink with Sush again. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. I'm only answering. Okay, I'm presenting you the hair color tutorial at home. How to do hair color at your home, on your own. <laughs> okay, and yeah, 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 if you're new to my channel, do subscribe my channel. If you like the video, share it to your loved ones. And, 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 and don't forget to hit the bell icon. I love you guys so much for watching my videos and giving time to my video. So let's get started and start coloring the hair. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do the uh, gray touch up kind of thing because I don't have any gray hairs. Um, I'm going to do a highlight and not that proper streaking highlights because I don't like that proper streaking highlights. I like something blended kind of effect. So I'm going to do something near to uh, ombre. Yeah, and to tell you some important things, hair color is not a simple thing. Hair color is first a very vast. Like you need to study in detail about hair colors and it's not easy to understand. Not all the people can understand what is hair color, what are the shades, what are the cool, cool tone, warm tone and etc. Yeah, but simply uh, when, whenever you want to do a hair color, first thing is which color to do which color will suit my complexion it goes like that yeah if you don't like me uh, not very fair not very dark then you know you can carry almost all colors again confidence i tell you my skin type i can go either for blonde not very ash blonde which is like grayish but i can go for blonde i can go for honey colors and i can even go for walnut and red yeah if you're very fair lucky you all colors will uh, you know look good on you and if you're uh, dark dusky then you can go for warm like honey color walnut color and you can also go for a burgundy color yeah so for that you can go to your nearby salon ask for a shade card because you have lots and lots of shade card for different brands yeah even like one brand has different kind of shades now you need to particularly understand what is your skin tone what's your hair type so you need to go to um, your nearby salon ask your hairdresser that what color will suit you what color you should do according to your hair type now today I want to do red 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 <laughs> So you can see this this is magenta red from l'oreal i have purchased this color too. along with this this is a matrix developer so you need a developer uh, for doing hair color my hair is very dark it's come it comes under number three or number four which is like almost in normal language we say black but it's not black it's dark brown so i have a dark brown hair color if you have dark hair like mine you need to pre lighten okay it will become this this kind of and lighter than this and then you can do um, fashion highlights like green blue red and all etc okay so if you want your hair color to be like uh, natural not you don't want a fashion color you want a honey color brown then you can just uh, go for blonde colors with the help of 30 the 30 volume developer so 30 volume developer they have third it will be written as 30 this is like 20 volume i have already uh, some blonde in my hair so i'm safe to go with 20 volume and please 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 guys uh, do consult with your hairdresser i don't um say that do at your home it's a little hectic for the people who don't know what color is and um yeah it's it's a little like confusing for the new people who want to do hair highlight the college girls the teenager girls who want a little bit of highlights here but they're scared of so i really want you to go to hairdresser and you know, take a consult go for a highlight it's okay it's safe it just we don't touch here while we do highlights so no chances of gray hair okay please don't believe in this stuff we don't touch roots so you are safe but the thing is your hair is going to become dry and you need to take care of it but please hair oil your scalp and then do take a spa because it's going to become like this very dry i have cut foils in like this so it's like this so i have cut eight pieces because i'm going to do i'm going to divide my hair i'm going to do four here and four here 
a foil and foil you you might have foil at your house or if you don't have you can buy it because it's going to come in use all the time ball and a brush so this kind of brush is easier don't go for very thin it's very difficult to apply this is a comb this is known as a tail comb and it has like this pointer so this is basic, basically used for you know doing like these and taking the streaks like this so i'm going to use today this section clips this section clips are very helpful because it grabs your hairs and rush now paddle brush is like for dry hair like me Oh no, for all hair, like uh, if your hair is dry and tangled, it easily removes your tangle and it is the best brush I ever have. It's very easy to brush your hair. Mazinda Red L'Oreal, it cost around 375 and then this developer, I don't know the price, I don't know the price of developer. You can go for streaks, L'Oreal metrics all of them are professionals all of them are good but just taking care of your hair is must red color or any color is a little kind of mess so i have um, covered my desk with the newspaper because i don't want to spoil my desk and then i have worn a very old t-shirt and a very old towel towel you need to uh, wash your hair there should not be any oil in your hair i just did a shampoo no conditioner yeah and then tangle free your hair Now I've started brushing my hair and removing all the tangles. Now I'm taking the middle parting and I'm going to divide it into four parting. You can see how am I dividing the hair to hair section and I'm making a knot and tying it with a section clip. I'm done with dividing my hair, now I'm going to mix the color. Now while mixing the hair color, you need to know how much quantity you want. I have taken out the third part of the tube and third part of the, the developer. Now the consistency should be like a toothpaste. Like it should not be too thin and it should not be too thick. You can see the consistency, it's not dropping down from the brush easily. Now I have started to take it, take the section out from the back side of my hair and I'm making it neat, uh, brushing it and then with the help of tail comb I'm just taking out the two section, two strand, thick strand of hair. You can see the way I'm doing it, I'm making it straight with my fingers, taking the foil like that and then applying the red hair color. Now I'm applying the red hair color first and then you can see I'm depositing the color inside the hair like I'm taking more color and depositing this way and now I'm going to pack this with the foil again. So while packing be careful you should not otherwise it, will, it is going to come out so you need to pack it in a tight way uh, especially this portion just make it tight and leave it. Now again going down to the other section and I'm going to do this much part because I wanted an ombre effect. Now the packing pattern is same, depositing the color is same, nothing new. You can just follow this pattern for whole of the section of your hair. Now while coloring the total amount that I will, that was used in my hair was only one third, even not even half of the tube was over so this is very good. And now this section I'm tying with a rubber band okay and I'm again bringing small elastics rubber band and then tying them in a different way like taking one strand leaving the other strand alternatively and I'm marking them and then I'm about to apply the color that way you can just look at the video how am I doing that so this is for random hair color I don't want it to be you know scattered like that so I took it alternatively half of the hair is like i've put them behind and just took a little little section uh, tied them with a the rubber band and just colored them and it, it looks uh, great it looks it gives a nice effect i love this effect
now this is the front part of my uh, hair that is ear to ear section <laughs> i tied it with a rubber band and you can see how am i applying the color after applying color this way i'm going to put it back on the foil and deposit the color very nicely and then i'm going to pack it Now the tail comb uh, helps us to take the streaking section this way very easily. So I'm taking out this thin section and then applying the color because I want my red color to be in my front side. I love this uh, effect again. In the last uh, picture of mine, you can see how beautiful it looks, uh, you know, coloring in the front part. Many people are scared, but I really love it. Again, the other side, I'm randomly coloring like this. You guys must think that I'm crazy but no I really literally love this technique it does not have to be neat just brush it uh, and uh, it looks great see this is the part the streaking part with the help of telecom you need to take out you know alternatively and then color your hair it gives a very nice streaking kind of effect from the up and down randomly see taking a brush taking a color randomly coloring this gives a shaded and ombre effect this technique is good when you want to do ombre i love ombre because whenever i'm bored of the color when it's fading out or dry then i can just trim it top off my hair yeah now after applying the hair i'm going to pack it inside the towel for 45 minutes and here is the final look after that i have washed my hair and put a shampoo conditioner and then a lot of serum hair serum of metrics If you guys have any doubt regarding hair color do message me and then if you want me to show some different kinds of uh, technique or any different look then do let me know about it bye bye